hi i had a few requests for a tutorial of my version of the skyboat song uh, that i filmed out in wilson quarries so it's pretty simple it's in uh, c and there's only um the version i did just goes verse chorus verse or chorus verse chorus i don't even know which bit is which but there's two bits there's the bit that goes and there's the bit that goes and it does the first one then the second one then back to the first one so for the first bit it is in um c and we're going to use uh this kind of c chord i've actually got the only sounding the g c and e strings and uh, we will sound the a string too we're going to use a D minor where I'm fretting the second string on the G and C strings. First fret on the E string and the fifth fret on the A string. You may find it easier to use this version of D minor, which is um, a bar chord across the fifth fret and then fretting on the seventh fret on the G string. And we're also going to use a G chord here, which is um, barred on the seventh fret. You can either bar that all the way across, or you can just bar the C, E, and A strings um, and leave the G open. And we also fret on the 10th fret on the A string. So the first bit of that is going to be with that C chord. Again, not sounding the A string. And then fifth fret down to third fret on the E string. And then we're gonna play all, all four. So we're then fretting the third fret on the A string to get that high C. And then we have the choice of which D minor chord we're going to go to. So on the video, I go to this one, but then that's quite a stretch. So that's the one where it is second fret on the G and C strings, a first fret on the E string and fifth fret on the A string. But then we're going to go to the seventh fret and back to the fifth fret on the A string. You may find that a bit of a stretch. You may find it easier to do that in this barred position. I find that a bit of a squeeze. Then up to our G chord. Across the seventh fret and 10th fret on the A string. Then we're going to go to form of C where we leave the G and C strings open, third fret on the E string and then up to the seventh fret on the A string to pick up that high E, which will bounce down to the fifth fret and back on the A string. Then our open F. So that is second fret on the G string. C string is open, E string is fretted on the E string is fretted on the first fret. A string is open. Then we go back to our C where we're not playing the A, we're just playing open on the G, open on the C, and we're playing another G by fretting the third fret on the E string. And then we're going to go to a very similar D chord just by putting our second fret on the C string. Okay, and then we're going to repeat most of that again. And on this, you can actually slide up if you like. And then slightly different. So the difference is that it just ends up on a different C where we are fretting the C on the third fret of the A string and then the E 
C and G strings all open. That's the first section. Second section moves down to A minor. Uh, normal A minor is just fretting the second fret on the G string and leaving everything else open. But we're also going to stretch up from melody note on the A string, seventh fret. And then down to this third fret on the A string, giving it another C. D minor shape that we used, the low one this time. And we're going to take this um, fifth fret off and on to get the melody there. And when that's not fretted, we're just leaving it open to go from the D, A to D. Lower form of A minor, so again, our open form, but with our third fret on the A string, giving us a C. Okay, again, bouncing back to that open string for D. Okay, and now we're gonna to go to an E chord but we're going to also play a C on it. So that is fretting the fourth string, the fourth fret on the G, C and the E strings, and the third fret on the A string. Drop that down to A, B on the second fret of the A string. Go back to the A minor, totally open now, just fretting the second fret on the G string. And then we just go to a G, and I usually just fret, I usually just pluck the G, C, and E string, but you can pluck them all if you like. One alternative if you find that difficult on the E where we go with an E chord with the C down to the B. You can keep this fretted here. Don't play this string, don't play the A string. And then drop on the E string down from the eighth fret to the seventh. You may find that easier. Um, and then it just does the first part once time through to finish off. So I hope that was useful for those people who wanted that as a tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, then uh, drop them in the comments. I don't have any tabs, I'm afraid, but it's quite a simple song. Um, and if there's anything else you want a tutorial or a video of, give me a shout. Thanks.